Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. My name is John, your host as always. I hope you're doing well and have, have relaxed a little bit. The reason why I'm saying that is the subject of today's video is discussing Wolverhampton Wanderers 3, West Ham United 0. As always, let's start off with the team sheet. In goal was Fabianski. Fabianski even, with um, Zabaleta at right back, Arthur Masiwaku at left back, and Ogbonna and Diop in, in centre centre back pairing. Um, Noble and Rice as the holding midfielders, with Snodgrass and Felipe Anderson out on either wing, with Antonio and Anautovic up front. On the bench was Adrian, Obiang, Hernandez, Fredericks, Diangana, Coventry and Carroll. Um... Very, very disappointing with this. Very, very disappointed in terms of the fact that we all saw this coming. We absolutely all saw this coming. Yet again, we didn't turn up. Out of the entire 95, including the food and the extra, extra couple of minutes of the, of the first half, so I say in the entire 97 minutes that was played in total, we had four shots at goal. 45% and zero shots on target. That's exactly how bad the game was once again. Now, the problem is, is, is exactly as I said, we need to keep an eye out for um, Jota and Jimenez. Both of them scored. Jota, Jimenez with a basic, basically the three goals... Um, all came in the second half. In the first half, it was relatively quiet. Um, I can't say too much because I had to listen to the game on the radio for a lot of it because I couldn't find a decent stream that was stable enough, unfortunately. Um, There's only a few channels across the world that was actually broadcasting it. But um, there was not much going on. You know, there was only one shot on target in the first, in the first half, and that was by Wolves. Um, Wolves, by the sounds of things, were in the first half were absolutely all over us to a degree um obviously guys that anyone that was able to watch the first half by all means let me know but it just sounds like the majority of the possession i think i think they had 52 percent at that point um with better ball control than we did second half when well, i was able to watch um very very disappointing with well not at least two of them two were two goals were uh, set pieces and jimenez's second was just laughable absolute i was screaming at the telly i really really was for all three to be honest with you really really badly um really bad goals to concede two two set pieces and him and basically having a free run at goal basically that's it that's the game in a nutshell but just to go into a bit more depth and detail for you um it looks like and out of it could be out with an ankle sprain just as he's come back after all that ridiculous contract stuff if you want i've done a video about his um, new contract extension if you want to watch that click on the card that's here um but yeah um, it's it's not it's not looking good um fabianski as well had a very very bad injury but played on bless him he absolutely played on looked like he was he's injured his right wrist um Second, second, and third goals came from his came from the from Fabianski's left hand side because they obviously they obviously wanted to give him a bit of respect by the looks of it. Um, but Wolves are a tricky opponent. We we all know that they've they've had an absolutely flying start at the moment. You know, it's, you know that, and they are still they are maintaining that. I did say in the video that we need to keep an eye on Jimenez and Raul and you know that um, sorry Saez or how you pronounce it. Um, so he's Jota, whatever, whatever. Um, I don't, you know, I don't really, really, really give a monkeys at the moment. I'm really angry at this. Once again, the spacing was terrible. Once again, poor second balls. Um, once again, poor passes, incomplete passes. Um, it's very, very difficult to get, not to, to, for this to be in, be a rant because it was absolutely disappointing i feel so sorry for everybody that's traveled i really really do feel sorry for you guys um you know it was it was hard enough as it is watching it at home much having having to do the what, three four hour journey you guys have got to do on the train on the trains and coaches back whatever however you're getting up there getting up from there as well I was, oh I, my heart feels for you i really really do but there's no guys it was just I'm really worried about the Liverpool game on Monday night now. I'm very, 
very worried. I wasn't exactly looking brim with confidence with, um, about the game to begin with, but now I am just absolutely scared. So I'm, I'll be there as usual. I'm always going to be there. No matter what, I'm going to be at the games, always. But this, we are going to get absolutely turned over by Liverpool. Um, I don't, I don't think Pellegrini can take the blame for this one. He did take the, he did take the blame for the Wimbledon game. I'd be very surprised if he says the same things, because as I say, we just didn't turn up. Um, I mean, even the substitutes that came on didn't really help, unfortunately. Which, which basically were Carroll came on for an out of um, Carroll came on for Noble on the 68th minute. Um, Hernandez came on for an out of it on the 77th minute, and Obiang came on for Snodgrass on the 69th. Um, they made absolutely no impact whatsoever. Um, it's just yeah. There's a lot. I hate to. I hate to say because a lot of people are at the moment, but it is absolutely true. There is a lot of dead wood we need to get rid of very, very quickly. I appreciate that it's two days away from the from the um, end of the January transfer window, but when, when I say very quickly, I mean by the end of the at the end of the season, by the start of the next, because we just don't. We have players that are just are not good enough anymore. Ogbonna had his moments. Diop had his moments. Um. Fabianski made some a couple of very very good saves that I was able to watch, but also made a big big error um, in the first in the second half as well. Sorry, um, he went to clear the ball and almost rolled it back into his own net. I mean, he, he, he noticed it very very quickly, which is good. Um, but he just for some random reason it rolled past him, rolled right, you know, it rolled backwards, and he was able to clear it very quickly. But as I say, um, Antonio. Tried as he always is. I keep saying he's trying, but he just doesn't have the so-called end product. Um, Rice, I thought, played well. Um, had a scuff shot towards the end of the game. Um, Anderson, I can't say he was playing badly because what I did see of him, he did, he did was was doing some good stuff, but he could see he was getting annoyed, and his and and as a result, there was no passing, no passes properly um, made at all. Um, as a, and as a Snodgrass played well, I thought he did. I did. I thought he did well. Out of a very very mediocre team, but guys, as I say, that there's not much to talk about. It's very it's very very disheartening. In terms of the table now, we're eleventh, so we're st it's we're st we're okay from that point of view. But the problem is, is that we've got Bournemouth to play tomorrow. Brighton are five points behind us. Bournemouth, as I say, have got a play yet, and they're a point behind us. Um, as a result, Wolves are seventh. I mean, guys, my only my only thing on on this is, and I, and I keep saying it, but we've got 14 more games to go, and we're on 31 points. We're eleventh in the table. Um, I have said in previous videos, including the last, uh, including my match reaction to the AFC Wimbledon game, we are not going to finish higher than tenth. I said it right from the start when when the January transfer window sorry when the summer transfer window closed I said the maximum will finish is tenth I still believe that we're still going to be you know we're going to get absolutely turned over by Liverpool absolutely going to it's going to oh it's going to be it's going to be embarrassing and of course because it's on telly it's going to look even worse but as I say excuse me very tired um, as I say it's just no it's it's we. I hate to say it, but we do. We go again. Um, I'll be very surprised if, the, if there's a decent attendance on Monday night. I'll be very, very surprised. There will be something decent um, in terms of 30 to 40 possibly. Um, but in terms of a decent capacity, I, I can't see it. Because there's going to be a lot of people that are, I'm, who've got tickets. And are just probably more than likely just going to want to stay at home and watch it on the telly. Um... I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. I will be doing a um, a preview video for the Liverpool game um, in the coming in the coming days. So keep an eye out for that. But in the meantime, guys, thank you very much for your time. I'm sorry this is this is such a doom and gloom video, but it was a doom and gloom game. If you're new around here and you like what I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get first dibs on all the videos, guys. 
to to the 11 subscribers I've had since um, the ASV Wimbledon game. Thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. It's been brilliant to have three um, have 11 subscribers in where are we pretty much three days that's brilliant F fantastic news I'm glad you guys are liking the videos the likes for um, the all, th all three of the last previous videos have got, have, are quite high so thank you very much for that I really appreciate your support um, if you if you like what I'm doing and you, and you feel I deserve it please click the like button um, please also put your comments in the comment section below keep it as polite as possible um, you know, because the, although this, although although this is an adults channel, you know, I don't want anybody that's under the age of acceptableness when it comes to swearing to read it. Because you know, I try my very very best not to swear in these videos, and I and therefore I appreciate the, that if you give me the same respect there as well. Um, and also, if you like this video, please um, please feel free to share it with anybody else on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Um, so thank you very much for your time, and I will see you in the next couple of. Um, I'll see you at some point over the weekend for the Liverpool review. All the best. Take care. Bye bye.